Beast is felled. Lady Margaret will be eager for the good tidings. We had best not keep her waiting. If you would be so kind, Sir Arisen, I cannot thank you enough for what you've done for us. I, you've my humblest gratitude, sir. If not for you, I'd ne'er have made it home. Still, I doubt this is the last we'll be hearing from Sir Ludolf. He's not like to admit defeat after only one attempt. Where will I be sent next, I wonder? Have you not heard, my love? Sir Ludolf has fallen deathly ill. He has? Aye, he was poisoned. From the tell of it, it was concealed in a gift. A bottle of wine or some such. But I suppose it is not so surprising. A dastly man like that must have had no shortage of enemies. True enough. I'm sure no few held a grudge against him for all he's done. Indeed. Perhaps one might call this his just desserts. <laughs> I wonder how Sir Fulvio's sculpture is coming along. Mayhap would behoove us to pay him a visit. If you would be so kind as to follow me, I shall take you to the one you seek. You have our gratitude. Lead the way. Clark, I will await you at his estate in Vernworth's no... Here, if you please. Now, here's a surprise. How goes it? I thank you. Patrons, connoisseurs, friends, 
My humblest thanks for joining me here at the unveiling of my collection's crowning jewel. There is much more I should like to say, but the anticipation is apt to kill me should I stall another moment. Let us gaze upon the sculpture now. <laughs> my word. Twould appear I overestimated your ability. How dare you claim my gold for a clumsy attempt such as this? You have shamed me and shall ne'er again know my patronage, Fulvio. Now gather your things and be gone from my sight! A dispiriting conclusion. Tis a shame how the sculpture... I know Clark wasn't pleased, but... I swear I'll wring that incompetent sculptor's neck. You understand how heavy the burden of duty can be. Would you hear my request? Thank you kindly. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Would you accept this humble reward? Glad to see you in good health. Would you be willing to lend me your aid? Give my thanks. Well 
met. Look. Looking to make a purchase? Hope to see you again. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. We've met no foes for some time, but tis all the more reason for us to be on our guard. I'll take the peace and quiet over a horde of enemies any day. Master, I discovered a treasure chest hereabouts during my last journey beyond the rift. Shall I guide you to it? I'd wager there's ought to be found here. Now here's a surprise. Our collection grows. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. I could count upon your strength, Arisen. Trounced our foe well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Call on you to carry the burdens we cannot. I need help. Your oil gives me light on my Battle is to be avoided, I take it, Arisen. Where you do not fall, prick. Aid the enemy's attack as we pass. True enough.
shall be done. I am here to aid you, Wizard. I believe your foe is born to hide. site lies near here. I remember passing by it on my travels beyond the rift. Shall I go? <laughs>
choice of where to go. But how to know the path best travel? Let us examine each path carefully before we decide. Take that. We might find a use for it. A new day dawns at last. The sun will always rise again. It is a comforting thought. there can be no harm in bringing this along. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. Remarkable synchronicity. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. You deserved a reward. We 
should be able to move this boulder with our combined might. Shall we set it rolling? went as well as we might have hoped. Let us cast our eyes about and analyze the situation. Welcome. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should... Be glad to assist you. Do come again. Have you business with the guild, sir? I have you found any of the items? We Discussed perchance. Do come again. Who there? How have you fared? Would you lend your ear to my request? You have my gratitude. I happen to understand, Elvish Master. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself.
just recall. I found a treasure chest near here during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to its location? was well thought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. My curative magic are at your disposal. Wait a moment. It's best to leave harmless creatures. Oh, now here's a surprise. Our collection grows. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Mayhap you will think this a trifle, but one master I served was quite the carefree soul, shunning armor in all its forms. Each to their own. Tis a hot goblin!
This ox cart was beset by assailants it could not shake. And this is the result. Wrought by the hands of brigands, or the claws of monsters. We must remain vigilant. You have my gratitude. Pray, take this with my gratitude. Poisoned. Cannot break it from this side. I understand. seem to have arrived without issue. 
But are we safe here? I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace, discussing a curious rumor. Regarding the Queen Regent, and an important personage, you mean? Indeed. Some suppose there is more to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is publicly known. Treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? When does my watch end? Oh, good miseries. Time to be headed home. Mayhap I ought to well, use that so. Fancy a gander? Fine wares all. Welcome to the stuff. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup? Always a pleasure. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim, all shall change once we have attended the coronation. If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, it is best you do so before we depart. Very well. The coronation is to take place on the morrow. We shall depart early in the morn, so your majesty will do well to get a good night's rest. Lost 
Master, pray leave this place. My body, it refuses to obey me. There is a voice within my mind. It commands me, sways my very will. Sways your will? Could it be that the gods sway? We must quit this place, Your Majesty. I fear our plans may fall to law. Let us return to the tavern. False sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own powers arisen. According to Regent King Sven, the pretender was wearing some sort of lavish necklace at the time. I imagine this artifact is the god's way mentioned in that letter. A chance it is a tool that grants power akin to that of the true arisen. It would do much to explain the events that we have beheld afore now. Alas, unless we find some way to unmake this god's way's power, Proving your majesty's legitimacy shall be difficult indeed. Pray, allow me time to search for a way forward. I shall inform your majesty when I have prepared a plan of action. Never could I have imagined such an outcome. What manner of artifact is this God's way? I suppose it is pointless to ponder. Let us await the results of Captain Brad's investigation. Right you are. Shall we get some rest then? Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Feeling rested, I trust?
Welcome to the Star Drop. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Come back any time. This might be worth a read. Shall we take a closer look? There is much we ought to tend to. Regarding the matter of the Godsway, I fear there is naught to be done, save for your majesty to venture to Batal, where you might uncover the false sovereign's secrets directly. The sigil upon that letter from some days past bore the crest of the Batali Palace. Surely there's ought to be found therein. Yet official dealings twixt Batal and Brumund are suspended. Passing through their fortress will prove a difficult task. With such hindrances in mind, I thought to prepare this. Pray, take it. Few may pass through Batal's fortress, save Beastron merchants. With some coin, I was able to convince one such merchant to grant us that entry permit. It ought guaranteed passage through the border checkpoint. But alas, tis intended for a Beastron. You shall have to act the part. But as to how that should be done, I am shamed to say I do not know. If we seek further knowledge of the God's way, we... ...ought to make for the tar. Pray, allow me to show you the way. needed. I was just glad to be of use. I hope the scale cinder sees that tree of hers flourish. Don't bring trouble to my door, you hear? No thanks needed. A customer then. That changes. What a bother. So, after breaking free of the chains of slavery that once bound you to this land, you return of your own volition. This is good. I am relieved to see that you are fulfilling your charge. Now, it would be advantageous for you and your crew to visit the Rock Master's Borough. In back the town, methinks it is where you will find that which you see. Shall we do as that personage suggested and make for the rock mouse's burrow? Pray, allow me to show you the way. Guide is most welcome. Now, what business have you here? Does that make you... the Arisen? Be at ease. I bear you no ill will. My name is Manella, and I have the honor of serving as a go-between twixt Her Majesty and the Gar. Come, let me buy you a drink. 
We've much to discuss, and I don't fancy standing round all the while. Shall we make for the tavern? Follow me, if you would.